This is a Yamaha. Uh, it's a 2004 TTR 225 and uh, actually got it from a buddy of mine who we do a lot of classic car restorations together. Um, it was his son's. They rode it. They live in a neighborhood so they only rode it up and down the road a few times. Um, it did get dropped and when it got dropped it uh, just happened to catch right there and broke that one piece of plastic. Scratch the front right here. So anybody who's got a dirt bike and tell you, tells you that it's never been dropped is probably a liar because dirt bikes are pretty much meant to be dropped. The nice thing is, is other than that, it doesn't show any signs of being dropped. I mean, nothing else was compromised. There's no other scratches or things on it. So that hard plastic got caught on something and you know, in the woods probably and, 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 and just decided to break, which is nice because it only costs about 15 bucks to fix it. But this is, um, got the original tires on it and everything. It's super, super low miles. I mean, the tires still almost look brand new. Um, so the son rode it. They probably put 15, 20 hours on it, he said, and then parked it for a while. Um, and I saw it sitting in the garage and I said, hey, that looks like fun. Uh, a few months ago so I got it and uh, we rebuilt the carburetor put a brand new battery in it it's an electric start um, and uh, redid the rear brakes or adjusted the rear brakes actually I think we put uh, the guy put new rear brakes in it for me so now it's ready to rock and roll turn the key push the start button it fires right up uh, the TTRs are uh, notorious for having a little bit of a rough cold start so first thing in the morning, especially when it's 35 or 40 degrees like it has was this morning, you know, it, I had to push the button a few times, pull the choke on it. Uh, but once it got warmed up, it runs great. I just took it for a ride. Um, so it's ready to go. I love this bike because it's a four-stroke, so it's got a lot of low-end torque. It's a six-speed, so you can uh, get it up to a high speeds. It actually moves pretty good. It does not ride like a two-stroke. It doesn't have that ginormous, you know, jump to it. This is a trail bike. It's not a racing bike. Um, and I have had a blast on it. I weigh 200 pounds. I'm 6'3", um, and I have had a blast riding it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, my uh, my brother rides it. He's 13 years old, and I don't know. He's like five foot seven, um, and he rides it. He probably he probably weighs what 120 pounds, and he has a blast on it. And it, I think it's safe for a, a young a young kid to ride, a younger guy to ride, uh, because it's not a two stroke, so it's not going nuts like a two stroke. Um, what else? So four stroke. That means you just pour gas in the top, change your oil every once in a while. And that's it. You don't have to mix the fuel. Um, you don't have all the smoke and stuff like that. And I, there is a enduro package you can put on this bike. So I think it costs about 150 bucks or so. Um, and you just strap the lights on the front and plug it all in. Uh, they're pre-wired. I think they're pre-wired for the enduro to where you kind of just plug it all in. And then you could ride it on the street. Put a tag on it and ride it on the street. They get crazy gas mileage. So. Um, somebody's going to have a lot of fun with this thing. I'm ready to sell it or trade for a four-wheeler, like a 250 or a 300 or larger four-wheeler that runs good. I want to trade for something that's as good as this. So, I mean, this thing runs great. If I'm trading for something, I want it to run great too. No problems. I don't want to have to fix anything. I just, I just fixed everything on this bike that needs to be fixed except for that one broken little panel, which I don't care about. That's why I didn't fix it because I figured if I drop it in the woods again, I'll just break it again. All right. That's it is 1200 bucks. It's a good deal.